Good morning, PHS. Today is Thursday, March 23rd, 2017. I'm Devin Gritton, and with me today is my guest anchor, Tyler Mackey. That's right. I'm Tyler Mackey. Stay tuned, PHS, because we've got a jam-packed show. PTV starts right now. off with your SRT meetings today. FTA, you guys are meeting in room 215. Spanish Club, you guys are in the cafeteria. Seed Club, head to room 218. BPA, you guys will be meeting in room 108. After school, there will be a robotics meeting in room 141. In Winter Winds, you guys will be meeting in the music wing at 3.30. If you're planning on taking summer school, the official registration for those courses is happening right now and will continue for the rest of this week. The cost for each session is $20, but if you qualify for free or reduced lunch, you will need to pay the fee when you register in order to reserve your spot in school. In order to get more specific information about summer school, by logging on to the PHS website and by clicking news, you will get just that. The guidance department would like to remind you all seniors about the Indiana Latino Institute Scholarship. If you are applying to or are currently enrolled at any college or university in the state of Indiana this coming fall, and you'll be taking at least six credit hours per semester and have a minimum GPA of 2.7 and demonstrate financial need, you may qualify for this lifetime opportunity. You must have documented volunteer community service hours in the past and plan to continue service involvement as well. Scholarship preferences is given to Latino students students residing in Indiana who are first-generation college students. If you are interested, please let the guidance department know ASAP to get you where you need to be for your future. The yearbook staff is hosting their big grad ads event next month when we get back from break. They will have snacks and lots of helpers to assist you in making grad ads. The, the event is for anyone who wants to make an ad for a graduating senior. Bring your favorite photos, print or digital, and a message for your favorite senior favorite member or members of the class of 2017 and the yearbook staff will help you create a grad ad. Get your 2017 PHS yearbook senior ads order sheet by visiting the PHS website. Then come to the big event here at P PHS room 120 on April 19th from 3.30 to 6 p.m. The Plymouth High School Student Council is holding their annual March Community Service Spring Food Needs Drive this week from March 20th through the 24th. The PHS Student Council is asking students and staff at Plymouth High School, Lincoln Junior High, Riverside Intermediate to bring in toiletries and cleaning supplies. Meanwhile, students and staff at Menominee and Jefferson and Webster Elementary and Washington Discovery Academy, they are asked to bring and donate foods and box goods. All supplies collected will be donated to the Neighborhood Center and the Bread of Life Food Pantry. PHS Student Council members will be collecting all donations from PCSE schools this Friday, March 24, 2017. Any girls still looking for a prom dress? Well, if so, you might want to listen up for this cool opportunity. The Junior League of South Bend and Zyker Cleaners are partnering together once again to host Princess for a Night. This event will take place at the Century Center in downtown South Bend on Saturday, April 1st from 8 a.m. to noon. You are asked to arrive by 11.30 a.m. and please bring your student ID with you to get into the event. Before we switch gears to PTV Sports, we have a new segment called Movie Reviews with Juan Garcia. PTV's Juan Garcia reviews a hot movie getting a lot of hype and lets you know if it's worth your money. This week, Juan reviews Beauty and the Beast. All right, so the 2017 Beauty and the Beast is a remake of the 1991 Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast is a live action reincarnation of the animated movie. This movie is exactly like the animated movie, but it added a couple of new music that fitted really well for the movie. The best parts of this movie is Emma Watson as Belle, Josh Gad as LeFou, Dan Stevens as the Beast, Luke Evans as Gaston. The movie suffered through a long running time with two hours and ten minutes long. They should have stuck with the animated movie's running time with an hour and 24 minutes or even closer to that, like an hour and 30 or an hour and 40 minutes. It did not need to be a two hour and ten minutes. They could have easily, easily cut down 15 minutes shorter of this movie. The jokes falling flat for me, I probably laughed two times in this movie and there's a quite a few laughs in this movie. 
But the biggest disappointment of this movie was when the Beast asked Belle if he could dance with her. This is a big disappointment because in the animated movie, that scene was the best scene of the whole movie, and that's probably the one of the best scenes of all time in, in the movie industry. And it wasn't as heartbreaking as the animated version. So with all that being said, I'll give The Beauty and the Beast a 6.5 out of 10. Thanks, Juan. We look forward to your next review after spring break. Kicking off PTV Sports, we are saying a huge shout out to Nate Patterson. Nate Pat broke his own school record on Saturday, March 11th at Indiana Wesleyan University with a jump of 7 foot 1. Patterson is currently ranked number 1 in the United States in high school high jump. Nate next competes at the Indoor State Championship Meet coming this weekend. And wrapping up sports, our first annual PTV Bracket Contest is in full swing. We have a whopping 52 people who joined in our first ever PTV March Madness Contest, which means we'll be giving away a $50 Buffalo Wild Wings gift card to the first place winner and a second and third place winner's prize as well. In first place right now is Mr. Wolf, second place Dylan Johnson, and in third place is a three-way tie between Mr. Skirvin, Mrs. Schuler, and Chris Milton. After spring break, we will have the winners, so make sure you keep an eye out on what's going on. Good luck, everybody. All right, guys. It's almost that time of the show. PTV trivia time. But before the big question, let's recap the previous PTV trivia question from last week. The question was, what team has the most NCAA men's championship wins? The answer is UCLA. Mr. Barron's room won last week's question as his room was picked by a random selector app. Thank you to all the classes, the dozens of classes who took part in submitting your answers. Okay, PHS, here we go. Get your emails ready. It's time for your guys' favorite portion of the show, PTV Trivia Time. Today's question is, who is the NCAA Division I all-time leading scorer? If you know the answer, email us at phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us. Again, the question is, what is the NCAA Division I all-time leading scorer? Email us at phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us for your answer. Boy, am I ready for fifth hour? Why is that? Because fifth hour means lunch. Today for lunch we will have beef nachos with cheese, salsa, and corn. And fruit or vegetable bar. Sounds like a nice hearty meal, that's for sure. The spring officially begins on Monday, March 20th this year. And that means we are closing in on two weeks of spring break. Our spring break starts on March 27th and will come to end on April 7th. If you're going on a trip or just staying home and sleeping all day, that's cool. But PTV would love to know where you are heading and what you'll be doing over spring break. Just hashtag PTV at PHS this spring break while you're posting your pictures on social media. And we'd love to share some of your pictures on our show when we get back. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Please tune in every day for our podcast and every Thursday for our show. A huge thank you to Tyler for joining us on our show. No problem, Devin. I actually enjoyed the experience. Well, that's a wrap, everybody. Show's over. I'm Tyler. Have a great day, PHS.